So we're over here on the rocky side of the stadium. They have this kind of split onto a south and a north side of the field, the main field. On the south side, we got the rocky side with the cool little rocktober that they got right here. We got one of their practice fields looking right there. And then, cool as heck, this is one of my favorite things, and I was hoping to catch some people out here. Probably here a little late after work today. I'll get here earlier and get some actual footage of people warming up. But this is cool. You can do this for free. This costs you nothing to get to where I'm at right now. And this is where pitchers are practicing, catchers are practicing. They're starting to warm up. As you can see, what we're looking at there, right ahead of us underneath the awnings, is a bunch of pitching bullpens right there. People can take batting practice in there. Um, this is actually where the pitchers are mostly going to warm up right here. Those are actually more the bullpen than anything. So you can come here for free. On a day where there aren't any games and the Diamondbacks and Rockies are just here to get ready for the season and you can watch some of your favorite players warm up. It's pretty cool. They have all kinds of little things like this. Uh, I don't know how well you can see that talking about Saddleback Mountain, which is exactly what you're looking at there. It's got a picture of what you're looking at. It's pretty cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, it even shows you where to look. So we're looking like it's that direction, which... To be honest with you, probably not the most effective sign out here since Saddleback Mountain's um, covered up there. But it's still pretty cool that they just give you a little bit of the history of Arizona um, and some of the geography of what Arizona has to offer. Because, you know, we get a lot of tourists out here during this time uh, and gives them a chance to learn about Arizona while they're out here to just enjoy the game. Always something I really appreciate teams doing for the children and the community um, it just shows that they're focused on that as, as a very important aspect so as you can see somebody must have been warming up out here taking a little BP earlier we got a bunch of balls right there we got a resin bag all that good stuff some resin all right there it's pretty cool you know these are some of those things that fans don't always get to see all the all the time especially if you're somebody that uh, isn't necessarily heavily involved in a baseball league or anything. You just enjoy watching the game. Well, here you go. This is where they practice. This is where they warm up. This is where the work gets done. Um, only in Arizona, by the way, do you need to have fans <laughs> outside. You know what I mean? For sure. It's going to get hot enough that those big old fans are going to be needed. I was going to make fun of them, but it actually seems like something that would be really valuable for the team to have. Um, yeah, so here we go. We got another little information spot here. This is talking about the Superstition Mountains, which are right back there. So just another cool little info thing. You know, I'm not going to sit here and make you read it or anything. It's just cool that they're doing that. Um, and, you know, look at this. This is just cool. I want to, like, jump down there and take a couple swings myself. Doesn't it get you in the mood? You know? Makes you want to get out there. And look, you see, you got the pitcher's mound built up right there. Everything's ready to go. Here's the plate. There's a little bit of a fence for the coach to throw you, lefty. And you just flip it around for the righty. All right. And let's see here. We got another little mini field over here. Not 100% sure what exactly this is going to be used for. Maybe infield drills or something because it looks like there's a few different backstops. So, once again, I'm really not sure. I'm not going to lie to you and pretend like I know more than I do. I'm not sure what this is going to be used for. I would guess maybe infield drills. No, maybe not because it's a little weird setup. I'll do some research on this and we'll post another video later on in spring training about exactly what is going on here with this tiny field all the way on the south side of the stadium. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this or not, but we got about a foot and a half elevated infield which is probably just about as high as the pitching mound is and three different pitching mounds all on each corner and they're all facing their perspective backstops so i would guess it'd be some sort of um yeah i don't know i guess it would be some sort of infield drills or something i really don't know looks kind of cool though hi guys how you doing we'll wave at them why not they seem nice